Let's go with that one. Hey friends, <laughs> um, it's the weekend, it's Friday, I'm getting ready because I am headed out, I've got a couple of things that I need to do today, the first one of which is uh, pop into the pharmacy because I have to pick up some medication and then after that uh, I'm gonna head over to I think I'll have some time to kill so I'm probably gonna head over to Starbucks and get a coffee and a sandwich eat something because after that I'm go I've got a nail appointment and I'm there for about two hours two and a half hours and then after that I'm meeting Lucia f at a wine and trade show kind of thing she was just like girl there's wine girl there's stuff to see let's go i'm like you know i actually haven't been outside in a while i'm starting to come back to the world i'm starting to go back outside i started going back outside last week and the week before with my sister's birthday uh, lunch and uh, spending some time with my sister and all of that so outside of that i wasn't going anywhere i wasn't spending any time outside so I thought, well, oh, oh, ginger lemon water, but I love it. So I thought to myself, well, why not? Why not go outside for a little bit, you know? So I'm busy finishing off my makeup. Let me go and... um. Just put some gel on here while I wait for the glue for my lashes, and then I should be done with my makeup. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna put on a red lip today. I've got some black jeans on. Ugh, I've got some really dark navy jeans on, um, and I'm gonna wear those. It's spring day today. It's actually the first of September, and um, it's quite chilly. <laughs> it's quite chilly outside. I had planned to wear a skirt, but no, it's actually quite chilly outside. So I've got jeans on and I'm going to wear my Steve Madden combat boots. And it's actually up top here where, what, that I'm not sure. I, I haven't worn my pearl denim uh, shirt in a while and I really love that shirt. But I might have to put on a vest underneath, which I don't... I don't feel like it. This is I don't consider this as a vest. I I'm talking about something slightly warmer and that's long sleeved. And I don't feel like feeling heavy and all of that. Uh I don't feel like layering, basically. That's so I'm what I'm only going to eat when I meet up with Lulu. So I just need to um at the very least Wow, this, that's a bad in store. So I'm really excited to see her. I talk to her every day, but I'm excited to see her. She's been on my case about us meeting, and I've just been like, girl, girl, I'm going through some shit, okay? I need some time. I need some time, man. I need, I need to sort my life out. That's honestly all it is. It's just me taking a break. So... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm currently reading The Housemaid, and I want to start When in Rome as well. The Housemaid is crazy, right? So we follow this girl by the name of um, uh, Millie. I'm about 70 pages in. I only got about an hour to read it this morning. About 70 pages in, and it's crazy. It's insane. So we follow Millie, who was looking for a job, really down and out. It reminds me a lot of Turn of the Key, the beginning of it. Uh, she's really down and out, looking for a job, anything. 
um, uh, goes, right? So she's applying pretty much everywhere, fast food places. She's living out of her car and ooh, 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 ooh. she finally scores an interview with this really, really wealthy family that is looking for a housemate, right? So they're looking for someone to look after the house and someone to kind of look after Cecilia. My gosh, I poked my eye. Oh, I poked my eye. This eye right here. So she goes for the interview and she's in, um, interviewed by, what's her name? Nina, the, the, the wife of uh, the multi-millionaire mogul Andrew Winchester. She goes, she's really, really believing that there's no freaking way I'm going to get this job. But she does. She, lo she gets the job. There's creepy things about the house, especially the room that she's been given. So her room is like kind of like in the attic. And give me a second. The door doesn't lock from the inside. It only locks from the outside. And she asks uh, Nina, she's like, bruh, <laughs> what's happening here? The room is small. Her room is very, very small and looks nothing like the house. But she's just grateful that she's got a place to sleep and she's no longer sleeping out of her car. And the pay is actually really good as well. Uh, so... I'm really uh, fairly still at the beginning of the book, so there's not much, but it's kind of creepy, okay? And uh, there's this landscaper who works for the family and does the landscaping and the garden and all of that. He's an Italian guy. And from the moment that Lily arrived, Millie arrived, he looked at her and he said, he said some Italian word in which she ended up Googling uh, the translation of and it just meant dan danger the guy kept on shaking his head when he saw her the guy never makes his way into the house uh, Enzo uh, and it's just so it's kind of just laying the story but it's really fast paced very easy to read um, so that's what I'm gonna read when I get to Starbies in the time that I'm waiting for my nail appointment oh. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mutlaj on today. She's giving rich auntie vibes today. Look at her. <laughs> hey. Ooh, battle. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Hold on. Come on, look at the vlogger. Look at the vlogger life. Now that time kids are a phone. Cheers. Cheers, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I'm not to run through that. Hey, Thank you. Love, love potion gin. In a lane. Oh, I'm fine. I'm a
today is Friday. I hope you can hear me because you guys are quite far away from me. I can't even reach y'all. <laughs> um, so today is Friday. <sighs> Typically, I try not to work on Fridays. I try to have slower mornings, work from home vibes, um, shorter days, which sometimes I have, sometimes I don't. Um, but this Friday, uh, was one of those days where it was just a slow morning, a slow start to the morning. I woke up at five. <laughs> slow start to the morning, we woke up at five. I woke up at five, I've been up since five. It is currently quarter past ten. And I'm, I'm really just still lounging, uh, answering emails here and there on my phone, should I need to, and really taking it easy um there's a, a few things that i need to do today um i'm meeting up with Tina later today at about one o'clock for lunch Tina, if you don't remember is from many vlogs ago where i did a i featured on a podcast an audio and visual podcast called small business runway and uh, she has just been really great and we had been talking since then about meeting up for lunch and just um relaxing unwinding who is calling me Cher? could be my sister there's my sister why are you buzzing me why are you buzzing me why i didn't like did as hold you no it rang like twice i did as Start an iPhone and iPhone store so that you don't have this problem. This is the problem when you are acting crazy. This is the problem when. The okay, what time is your flight? Yeah. Okay, girl. Okay, well, have a safe flight. I love you, okay? I love you. I'll tell you if they try to murder me, okay? Please, I will fly out there. Please. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. No, if they're trying to murder me, tell me. Yeah, you better tell me. And and if something seems fishy or funny, come back home. I'm coming back home. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Okay. okay love ya. Bye. Bye. Yes. So as I was saying, sorry, I'm meeting Lena today at one for lunch, which I'm really looking forward to. A couple of things that I need to do. Uh, on Sunday, I was supposed to attend something with. Uh, another good friend of mine uh pemelo on sunday and i won't be able to do that so because of that i sent her a little special package gift kind of thing which will be delivered to her house today just to say look i'm sorry i won't be able to make it but i'll be thinking about you yada 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 all that jazz so um yeah I, outside of that i'm pretty much going to hang ten, hang here uh and read uh until I'm, i get up and shower and get ready um because i feel like if i do that now i'm going to be very tempted to eat and and and, and be busy in the house and i'm trying to do that i'm trying to do that or am i mm. i still need to figure out what i'm gonna wear so maybe we'll do that together so maybe i might just get up earlier yeah book i wanted to share with you guys the two books that i actually finished yesterday and I've been reading them for a couple of days. This one is um, The Housemaid by Frida McFadden, which I started talking about earlier on in the vlog. And let me tell you. Oh my God, it's so good. If ever, you know, I needed a thriller that I could love and just devour. And a thriller that I felt is very fast paced. A thriller that I felt is easily accessible in terms of reading and all of that. It doesn't feel difficult. A thriller that I also felt like has insane, beautiful plot twists that I don't see coming. And this is it. I'm pretty sure this is going to be, if not top 10 of, of my favorite books of the year, maybe top 20. I'm trying to do this thing where I have top five nonfiction books because I don't read uh, non-fiction as much but i've been trying this year so and then have top 10 of fiction novels this is so good um i think i spoke about it a little bit where we follow millie and she works for the winchester family 
and strange things start happening when she starts working there um she kind of feels like nina the wife of of uh, the household really just doesn't like her nina does does very deliberate things where she will leave the kitchen untidy or where she'll say to millie like I, t I asked you to do this and Millie will be like, nah, bro, you did it. What are you talking about? You didn't. No, but I did. Don't forget in future. Da, da, da. Um, and she would really be hard on Millie, whereas the husband, Andrew, would be so sweet. Oh, my wife, this, this, this. My wife has, has got a couple of mental health problems. Da, 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 da. Until things get really, really crazy and uh, Millie sleeps in the attic of the house on the second floor and but she sleeps in a room where the door only locks from the outside so she cannot lock it from the inside which in and of itself it's just like are you joking are you joking i what um so once that starts these funny things start happening i really that's all i want to share about this book that i think you should just go and devour it don't even read the back of the book just go to bargain books because that's where i found mine yes Go read this book. Read this book. It is so good. It's a psychological thriller, but it has a couple of trigger warnings with regards to body shaming, with regards to mental health um, struggles in terms of, you know, um, uh, uh, people going to psychiatric facilities, um, you know, abuse and, and, and and yeah all that kind of stuff and i really do think you should check those out before you read them um just just narcissistic psycho abuse just crazy stuff happens in this book but it's really good it's extremely entertaining and i rated this one a five out of five the other book that i read was a good lie by tr tory a r uh the other one is a good lie by a r tory and i listened to that one via script script is the audiobook platform that i listen to i pay for it each month it's about 150 or 160 each month but you get access to the latest books some of the best books um yeah so that's i i i'm willing to sacrifice that money to be able to uh, have access to an audiobook because i listen to audiobooks when i'm driving i listen to audiobooks when i'm cleaning up in the house making my bed um i actually listen to audiobooks more than i listen to podcasts now which is fine each to their own but in a good lie by ar tory we follow Gwen, who is a criminal psychologist so she studies the mind of uh people who have committed crime serial killers criminals that kind of thing and um the book essentially opens with her um and one of her patients or her clients uh and this guy is so intent on how mad he is at his wife and how he wants to kill his wife and he's got all these thoughts about offing his wife and she's trying to counsel him and psychologize him out of that right so cool in and all in and around all this time there is a serial killer in the loose in the area called the bloody heart killer the bh killer and what this killer does he picks up boys very young boys 17 18 in high school picks them up very good looking boys and does what serial killers do so there's major trigger warnings in this one it's gory it's uh there's a lot of stuff about fingers and and abuse and sexual abuse of minors and all of that so highly recommend that you check trigger warnings for this one as well but like for me anything now it's my dad. Hi, dad. Hi. Shabula. It's like crazy, right? Until one day, a really well-known criminal uh, attorney walks into Gwen's office, Robert, and he says, listen, um, the BH killer has been supposedly arrested. I'm going to defend the bh killer because i know that this is not the killer this guy is not the killer and he does this because his son was one of the victims of the bh killer 
And so it becomes this thing, you know, this mishmash of, oh, who could have done it? Um, he wants the, she wants Gwen, Robert wants Gwen to come onto this case and help him with it so that she can uh, criminally profile the supposed killer who Robert doesn't believe is the killer. And so now, you know, you kind of watch it unfold. Insane. So freaking good. But um, I enjoyed it. Again, fast-paced, very short. It was The audiobook was about five hours long, so I managed to finish it in two or three days, um, given the fact that I'm at work, so driving from here to there, here to there, here to there. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I did not... It didn't quite make it five-star level, but I gave it a 3.75. Now, I don't typically do 0.75s. I don't do that. But with this one, I did because I, I felt like it's good and I don't want to take away from the fact that it's really good. But I managed to call out the plot twists. I managed to find, I managed to guess who the killer was and I was right. And I also managed, there's, there's two or three things that I guess that mm -mm, this can't be right and I was right. This is who it is and I was right. This is who it is and I was right. Um, so for me, being a seasoned thriller reader, um, I wasn't fully immersed in it like this one. The, the twists, the plots and all of that, I kind of called and saw coming, so. decide on what to wear because I, I want it to be comfortable and at the same time I didn't want to be too basic so I'm pushing this I don't know what we're gonna call this outfit today because it's just jeans sneakers white sneakers and a shirt which I'm gonna roll up like oh I tried but I really didn't I could have just come back from work <laughs> yeah no that's the kind of vibe I'm going for today too. I actually just want to be pretty chill, you know? I broke all my necklaces. All my necklaces, somehow they break. I don't know. Um, I'm going to put my lip product on when I leave. And then, glasses. I've got two options. We've got these ones from Eldo, which are so cute. They match with the outfit. They got the blue vibe, yeah. The other option is to rock these, which I haven't worn in quite a while. And I absolutely, you know what, here we go. This is where we're living, okay? But what I'm gonna do is take these as well, because I like to have options. I like to have uh, two or three, maybe even four pairs of glasses in my car. And that's just how it is, okay? I'm gonna put some lip gloss on when I get there. I have to leave now. Um, I don't like to eat. Go have a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> 